Hi guys, SelfGuestDad here. Today we're going to be doing a few short tutorials. Um, primarily this is going to be how I get started and touch on a few other things. Uh, so, the first thing we are going to be talking about is how we get started. That's going to be consisting of making a stone axe and a crossbow and some ammo. So the first thing we need to do is uh, pick up a rock. We need to find one of these bushes like this. Just beat that up pick up the sticks and then you just beat up any old random piece of grass be sure to pick that up too okay so we go into our crafting menu we drop the grass in the middle which will turn it into plant fibers we'd be sure to do the same with our stone which gives us the sharpened stone then we place that there and we kind of make a triangle pyramid with it like that a uh, stick in the center and that gives us our stone axe so the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to make to make the crossbow and uh, always be sure to look at the backpacks because they're pretty nice. So the next thing we want to do is we want to find a tree and we want to use our stone axe to chop down that tree. And it takes a little while to chop down the tree. I think it generally takes between 12 to 15 uh, hits to chop down the tree but it finally fall and you see also that we got a maple seed. If you put that in your inventory and select it and right click on the ground you can replant that tree so uh, that's a nice feature you can play Johnny Appleseed in seven days today so uh, we're gonna take one of our logs and turn that into planks we're gonna put the same thing and make them into sticks so then the next thing you need to make the crossbow is you need two more pieces of grass so we're going to turn that into flat fibers, just like we did, uh, one above, one to the right, two leading to it, and then we make a 3x3 three three square with the rest of them, and voila, we have a crossbow. So let's go ahead and check out our new crossbow. It looks like a fine piece of weaponry, but as you notice, it won't fire. So how do we make ammunition for it? So that's the next step. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to find some feathers, which are typically found in nests like this. So you want to be sure and collect as many feathers as you can, especially if you're going to be using it as a primary weapon. Then you want to be sure to collect as many rocks as you can, uh, because you have to have those to make crossbow bolts also. So we're going to sharpen our stones again. We're going to put them uh, to the diagonal right, stick in the middle, and diagonal left below, making a straight line with the feathers, sticks, stones. And that's how we craft our crossbows. Now, it still won't fire. That's because you have to be sure to reload your crossbow before the first time you fire it. Uh, then you right click to bring up the iron sights, and left click to fire, and that is how you kill with the crossbow. But you want to make sure to pull headshots on the zombies, otherwise they're a lot harder to kill. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be collecting cotton uh, to make some clothing and stuff. So uh, we're just going to run around and pick up as many of these white flowery plants as we can find that is what we're looking for so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will see you guys after I've collected some cotton alright so I'm back with my cotton uh, you see we've got two stacks of 29 which is a total of 58 cotton so with this cotton you want to put one in center and one right above and that will make uh, cloth fragments so then we're gonna use these cloth fragments to make our clothing and uh, you can show, look in the clothing and it will give you all the patterns that you need um, make Gloves, hat, jacket, pants, boots. Um, and the reason we made 29 cloth fragments is because that's the exact number you need to make a full suit of cloth clothing. Um, and which I would suggest is a good idea because you want to be sure and be as protected as you can in the zombie apocalypse. Now, the pants take the most cloth to make. Um, so usually if I don't have the cloth, I will skip on that and make the cheaper things first. So then you click on the character tab up there, and then you can equip all these things uh, in their right places. And so then you notice on uh, the right there that I have defense scores now. And you may also notice that I have 12 extra cotton laying around. That's because uh, the other thing we want to make with our cloth is a bedroll. We do this just like this with the layer across the bottom and one for a pillow. And uh, then we're going to just go kind of throw this down in our safe house 
uh, and that will make it this our home, and it will give us our spawn. So one more thing I wanted to talk about was the secured chests, and we make those with uh, more planks, and we lay those in a 6x2 pattern, starting from the middle and going out, just like that. And so, you put that in your inventory, and you just click it, and it drops it. Now you can lock these if you hold E, and you select the lock function. You can also set a password, um, which you can make any number you want really um, and then after that and you can also uh, unlock it at any time or change your password at any time so you can unlock it to let your friends in or you can just share your password code with them and then you can always change it later which is nice uh, but the reason I wanted to talk about that is because I jumped on a multiplayer server a public server the other night and I was amazed at how many people didn't have their chest locked and I just hate to admit it, but I robbed a lot of people of their stuff getting started on, on that server. So I just wanted to bring that to people's attention, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and this is Self Cast Dad, and we will see you guys next time.